guys. Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to be reading your guys' confessions slash things you need advice about. And uh, I'm just going to put a trigger warning on this video, and I'm also going to say this video is not for children. So if you are a child, then this video yeah, this yeah, video yeah, is yeah. going to get pretty crazy. We're going to start off pretty light. This is, this is the rated M stuff, watch out. I'm still in love with my ex-boyfriend, although he's generally horrible. Genuinely. I, I said genuinely. He's genuinely horrible. I don't know why. I can never get away from the thought of us being soulmates. You're whack. You're, really? I, I, I get it. I understand. What do you mean by that? Well, like, I get it because like... What you mean by that? Because like you could still be, you can be in love with someone, but like you're just an awful what person. You mean? You're, Sorry, you're first, folks. You Emma need... is in love with her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> no, is, no, 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 no. All Emma confessions. She <laughs> wrote these all out. Yeah, I'm not that cool enough to get she's, submissions. Uh, yes, but... she's. Also, yeah, thank you so much for submitting something. If you submitted, thank you so much. I might do a part two if you guys want. Anyways, I think you should still <clears throat> move on. Definitely find someone because there's definitely someone better. For you. Do you want to read this one? I'm addicted to internet intercourse. Maybe. It won't, maybe. Unless it was a typo. It might just be... No, it definitely oh, is anyways, internet. I don't really have anything like, to say to that. Um, hey, everybody has their thing. Weird flex, but okay. You do you, boo. My fingers, I was eating hot Cheetos. I, I ran away from home when I was 18 because my mom is narcissistic. She keeps trying to get me to move back with it, with her. What would you do? Well, here, okay. Here's the thing. If you ran away when you were 18, I don't know how old you are now. So maybe it's like a year flash forward or like two years flash forward. But if you're doing okay on your own, because I feel like you should have enough time to know uh, if you're doing better. So if you are good on your own, then I wouldn't move back. You know, maybe your mom definitely misses you so maybe you can like visit her more often but if you were doing well on your own then you know you i would consider just staying if you are much more healthy and doing better off by yourself or wherever you ran away to also i'm very sorry then i think that that's good for you as long as you're in a good place you're in a good headspace i yes. think yes you're good yes Three. My confession, I accidentally made my ex kill himself. Awesome. So ex that is probably the worst sentence that I've ever read in, that I've ever spoken in my entire life. I'm don't sorry. Don't shame the person. I don't that I don't know. Like maybe you're maybe he was like really toxic and he was like being manipulative or something, but still that really sucks. I'm um, really yeah. sorry. Don't I hope you are okay I, too I because I would see a therapist I recommend because that kind of stuff could stick with you and you don't want that to linger. Yeah. I love my boyfriend, but sometimes he's too much. I'm a wrote I, this I one. did write this one. I did. I'm joking. I did it. Honestly, I understand. Um, I saw this thing where I apparently like... if you're like get really annoyed with them, then you actually really do love them. So, uh. So just if you love them and they love you, just. Just deal with it. Yeah. Top 10 scariest <laughs> confessions. There's this teacher I find really attractive. So I started stalking him as a joke with my friends. But it kind of spiraled Stop. out of control. And now I have his phone number and his son's address? I think he knows I like him and it's really embarrassing. <clears throat> I did the same joke stalk thing with the host at Texas Roadhouse. And I got, and I actually successfully got his number. Things were going really well. We were talking and flirting every day, but I ghosted him because he posts really weird stuff on his Facebook and he would send me painfully unfunny TikToks and iFunny memes all the time. That red iFunny flag right red there. Flag. I feel kind of bad because he was nice, but he started starting to make me uncomfortable. It's a thrill of the chase, you know? Yeah. You like chasing them, and then once you get That's there, not it though, guys. Um, oh yeah. This person a has a lot of confessions Sorry. or issues. Last thing, my most recent ex-boyfriend is this horrible dude I was overly obsessed with for some reason. He's a huge weeb to a degenerate extent, so I literally started watching anime just to impress him. Oh my gosh. Actually, anime's not that bad. Oh, what, um, is the, what is the lighting? Sorry, my shirt. Sorry, okay. I listen to Joe Curie music to impress my girlfriends. I even went so far as to buy him a waifu body pillow for his birthday. I don't know who waifu is. Waifu. 
wife. Which is a naked <laughs> lady. That's his favorite anime character that he sleeps with. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, anyways, he randomly goes to me one day. I think that's lucky for you, girl. Honestly. Yeah, sounds like a break. And I've been feeling really resentful ever since. He was literally as sexy as AF, but I was an insecure simp desperate for validation, so I let him get away with so much BS. Sometimes I fantasize about getting revenge by slashing his tires or something. Go do it, girl. Don't. Go don't, we're not, slash do not, his tires. Not, key his car while you're there. Do it. Emma, we're going to see this on like the news. Basically, I'm so done with men. Um, yes. Basically, yeah. Men suck. You'll find a good one, hopefully. I'm Everybody sorry. That does. was a whole that whole thing. I'm <clears> sorry. <throat> I am so overwhelmed thinking about what I'm going to do with my future. I'm a really creative person, and I've always wanted to be a musician or writer. But those careers will take a lot of time to be monetizable, and everyone in my family is rushing me to pick what I want to do. Ouch, that kind of sucks. I'm sorry. I hate people like that. You don't actually have to know exactly what you want to do right after high school. Anyways... <laughs> Uh, what I do that'll make me a living for context. I'm a senior in high school and I don't know what to do after graduation Understandable not everyone does I always feel really stressed out like I have a gun in my head and I'm constantly being interrogated I just wanted to vent also. I love your videos. You're super underrated. Oh my gosh. Thank Heart you so much with the frog. Emoji. Thank you Thank you so much. That means a lot. Anyways, I totally understand what you're saying um, I felt like, like me personally, I felt like I had to do something <coughs> right after high school. But really, you do not have to. No, I'm just working. Yeah, well, basically with careers, I'm, I'm kind of with you, like, musician and writing. I used to, like, love that stuff. And I'm also a really creative person. You could still be a musician and writer, still focus on that, like, a lot. You can just easily do that in the side, but, like, do something first, and then maybe your music can, like, come over that eventually i don't know if you want to go to college with um musician and writing and stuff college i guess doesn't really seem like a necessity but if you want to go to college then i definitely suggest that you do maybe yeah i'm gonna put out that message there go to college because so people kinda, always change their minds kind of just go with the flow and music writing and stuff, it's a great hobby. Definitely. Um, Just put yourself out there. Don't be shy to put yourself out there. Yeah. Make at all. your voice be heard, but Definitely. also have a backup. Because a lot of people don't have backups. Always have a job and then do it more as a hobby. You know? Yeah. If it gets picked up, it does. If it doesn't, But it I'm doesn't. sorry about you being forced to it's a good have hobby, to want to do something. I did something that God wouldn't like. The dirty in the in the in her school's here his, his school parking lot. Nice. Cool. As long as I mean, <clears throat> as long as you didn't get caught. If you didn't get caught, it didn't happen. So I think you're good. <laughs> I think that's a good, um, that's a good confession. I secretly still want to message my ex best friend, but I know I was the problem. Oh, if you think that you're the problem, you should definitely text them and apologize. She has a boy. Actually, that takes a lot to admit that you were the problem. Anyway, she has a boyfriend now, so I hope she's happy. But I secretly hope she's messaged me one day. I mean, if you're the problem, take then that she's, step. If you're the problem, then she's probably not going to message you. But I understand. I had a falling out with one of my friends. Um, and just but we like made up and stuff so definitely i would say message apologize them. take that step maybe if you don't want to message them like send a message you'd be like oops that was meant for someone else no <laughs> no um <laughs> apologize and show them that you've matured more and that you know you're willing to be an actual good friend to them yeah and her having a boyfriend doesn't mean that she's automatically happy. yeah everybody yeah you know. okay my friend is gay. <laughs> My friend is gay, but won't admit. Same. Uh, just some people. Some people just have the vibes that they are. Maybe they're not. But yeah. maybe if if, if you not, know for sure that they are, just don't. Just wait. Yeah, wait for till them, they wait till they're comfortable. And don't take it personal. Basically, this guy that I liked in me had a falling out. Just. Just saying, cause he just thought. Cause, oh, just, just saying, cause. cause he thought I didn't like him anymore. But he's in my class again, and I snapped him, cause like all the feelings came back. But he hasn't snapped me in three days after responding, after responding once. But like he asked, sorry, this is giving me dyslexia, cause there's no okay. But like he asked his friends about me, and they told me 
that so I'm just so con I'm just so, like so confused of what I should <clears throat> do what I think you should do you definitely <clears throat> if feelings are went away and came back then definitely they'll go away again I was just gonna say they're they, they go away and come back maybe it's repetitive I don't know I think you should snap him again no no I think you should talk to him I'm like I'm like a IRL. confident oh yeah definitely talk because to him in real if life because maybe he is too afraid to open your snap oh something. he probably is too afraid so he probably talk like talk to he him probably if, if he's talking you. to him snap because he's too afraid to be rejected again so try talking to him in real life ask him how his day is yeah me and my guy friend have liked each other for a while and we both know it because we confessed at the same time we occasionally go on dates, but it's nothing official. But over time, I've lost feelings. Oh my gosh, these these are crazy. These are crazy stories. They just kind of went away for no particular reason. I don't know how to describe it, but the sparks definitely. Oh, but the disappeared. sparks disappeared. He's really really great guy, but I don't know how to tell him because I know he still likes me. Mm, that's Honestly, weird. actually, us girls, we need to be. We need to be okay with breaking hearts. If we don't want to be in the relationship, we just need to break their hearts. Just um, before you keep leading him on, just like you'd still be friends with him, but make sure that he knows that you just want to be. I friends. definitely understand what you mean by like you know the sparks. Like nothing actually really happened. It's all just, it's just you and stuff. Guys, I just feel like you should say you should just go out and tell him the truth tell him basically. the truth tell him you still want to be friends even though i know like that's still... easier said than done but... sounds like you still want to be friends i don't get butterflies anymore when someone says sweet things to me anymore i'm currently talking to someone new because my ex ghosted me and i just don't feel like starting over with questions about yourself it's so draining but if there was even a chance he would take me back i would go back in a heartbeat and he was my first boyfriend never did anything though because we we're both nervous and awkward i understand but I don't don't know what to do to move on and continue talking to this new guy who bombs with compliments and keeps asking about myself. It's only been like three days. <coughs> oh, if you don't like so the true. new guy, that's so cute. If you don't like the new guy, then don't be with him. That's so sweet of the new guy, because I I vote new guy. Even though um, it, it doesn't guy. say you don't like him, but I can tell you're you have like doubts and you don't actually want to get a relationship with him because you're not over your ex. All these people are not over their exes. We've had like four or three that are like just try your not best over their exes. <laughs> I know. Really, it's so just, it takes time. It definitely takes time. It's so and it's okay to be alone. Keep that noted. You don't have to be definitely with somebody. Definitely. Although it may feel like it at times, you, it's okay to be alone. Also, being ghosted, that sucks. That A lot really of these does people are suck. Ghosted. But yeah, I mean, I was ghosted once, but it was like a different situation. I understand also, I guess everyone would feel connected to their first boyfriend. So just because it's your first boyfriend and you haven't even gone through all that, definitely you should be able to like move on soon. Try. Definitely. Move on. You will. Just give it time. Give it time. Last one for this video. Oh, oh, oh. This is just an add-on. Oh, also it was a seven month talking stage and they dated for like a week because he, oh geez, seven month talking stage, okay. And then dated for like a week before he broke up with me and then started talking again and then he ghosted me. Maybe the new person is for the best. I definitely think the new person is definitely for the best. Again, it's okay to be alone, but that sucks. Seven month talking, I think he's just scared of commitment, right? Yeah. He's probably just scared to be committed. He, he just realized he didn't like... Uh, actually, it sounds really weird. But maybe... They had a seven-month talking date. I think you would know. I think by that well, time you would know. Then they dated. Maybe he just doesn't like having a girlfriend. Or maybe they just don't, aren't ready to be in a committed relationship. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might do a part two. If you want a part two, put it... Put... Put put you wanted part two down in the comments i'm also close to 600 subscribers so if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and always press the like button and i will see you guys soon with some more very very exciting videos peace